Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 2556 that says disconnect path in a binary matrix by at most one flip. So here we are given one binary matrix of size n cross n uh, and, uh, for, and what we can do here is we can flip at most one cell that is uh, we can flip the, its value from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0. Uh, so here what we need to do that uh, by uh, maximum flip of 1 we need to check if it is uh, possible to make this matrix disconnected or not. So disconnected is uh, you can't so initial index is 0 0 and final index or the last or the destination index is m minus 1 comma n minus 1. So it is disconnected if you can't move from this index to this index okay and the movement is uh, done in two ways that is row plus 1 comma column that means down or right okay row comma column plus 1. That means let's say if you are at here at this position you can move from here to here towards the right or down this line says this and from the starting you need to move to ending position so here we need to check that if if it is possible to make this graph disconnected okay by flipping at most one uh, one uh, to zero right at most one cell so let's take a look at this example so here this was our initial matrix so here since we flip this one to zero uh, we can't move from this start position to ending position because see uh, after flipping this is now the matrix from here this one you go to you can go to right or down let's say you go to right then here you can go to right or down but down is zero so you move to right now here down is zero so after reaching this means you can never cross this row right so that's that's why uh, we return true here because now the graph become disconnected so now let's take a look at this example so here this is the initial matrix so here there are multiple ways you, you can go from the start to end like this is one of the way this is another way right so if you flip this one to zero then also there is one way or if you flip this one to zero then also there is one way see the, the thing to note here is you can all uh, at most do one flip okay uh, and also you cannot flip the initial uh, this, uh, and the destination cells uh, because that that's a thing because if you flip the initial cell from 1 to 0 then you will never be able to reach the destination right so yeah that's the condition here you cannot flip the first and the last cell okay so now let's take a look at this example so let's say if you have something uh, like this uh, the graph initial graph so let's say from here you traverse to here okay now after this you can only say as you know that you can only traverse to right or down that means you can only traverse to this or this so here since both are 0 then there is no way to traverse so we directly return true when the graph is already um, uh, already disconnected right okay so uh, let's say well, there is some example like this one one zero one one zero one zero one 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 so let's say this is almost the same example uh, let me just make it here one sorry zero this is the same example only difference is that is one here so here in this case you can travel from this to this to this so currently the graph is connected but since you can make one uh, one to zero means you can flip one to zero so when if you flip this so now the graph become disconnected okay right so one thing what you can notice here is uh, if uh, let's say if the diagonal element some if this diagonal element if they are both are ones let's say something like this one 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 zero one so ignore this zero and one let us keep the matrix small like this so if the if both the diagonal element are one then regardless whatever you make you flip there is all there will be always be a path let's say you flip this one to zero but there will be path from this or if you flip this one to zero then there will be path from here okay so if both this uh, diagonal element these two diagonal element are one then regardless of flip you can never uh, make them make the graph disconnected by changing this okay got it or if there is a condition like this if both are zero or at least one is zero then you can make a graph disconnect at this point right uh, to have explain you in a better way let me take one example so let let understand with this same example let's say it was one zero one one so if you have something like this then at most flip uh, that you can do is one so if you flip this one to zero then there is no way these two are connected right so this is how we make and we can make a graph disconnected whenever both this diagonal element are either zero or at least one of them is zero right and in that case we can make one flip 
and make the graph disconnected so i hope you guys understood that um, the intuition of what we need to do uh, and how this intuition uh, work so based on this intuition uh, our uh, we will proceed this question so now discussing of the approach but what we would do see let me now also write down the index uh, what would be the index of this graph right so it would be 0 0 0 1 0 2 0 3 right this is 1 0 1 1 1 2 1 3 3 0 3 1 3 2 3 3 so yeah let's say uh, you make a matrix okay you make a matrix and you add all this element into this matrix but how by i plus z by doing i plus z so let's say for 0 i plus z is zeroth index but here by doing i plus j you will add what you will add these two elements right this two diagonal element because here i plus j is 1 here also i plus j is 1 so if you do like this v of i plus j equal to uh uh means uh, plus equal to 1 whenever uh, whenever g of i comma j equal equal to 1 you do this right if whenever this is if this is the condition then do then this okay whenever you do this what you are doing you are simply adding the edges this diagonal element and what we need to do we need to only check this diagonal element as we discuss here so if at any v of i plus j is less than equal to 1 then we what we would do we would simply return true because we can flip that if uh, it would be greater than 1 yeah then we won't be uh, able to flip uh, that see this is the condition it is greater than 1 1 plus 1 it's 2 so yeah in that case we won't uh, we won't be uh, able to make the graph disconnected so i hope you guys understood this that if any condition if uh, v of i plus uh, j is less than equal to 1 then we will return true now even after this if you have still any doubts now so for that let me make you Uh, show you by making one matrix of bigger size uh, let's say this is 0 uh, 0 0 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 1 0 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 2 0 2 1 2 2 2 3 2 4 so this what i did what i wrote the index right now this will this is what 0 plus 4 is 5 uh, sorry 0 plus 4 is 4 3 plus 1 is 4 and 2 plus 2 is 4 so now if uh, so here in this case we are checking the complete diagonal right means if this is let's say this is 0 this is 0 and this is 1 that means the complete diagonal is less than equal to 1 right and that in this case we can flip this one and make uh, the graph disconnected this is disconnected right so this is how this uh, v of i plus j plus equal to 1 works complete diagonal not just single diagonal it was the single diagonal in this case but this is complete diagonal right this complete diagonal this complete diagonal this complete so it is just the sum of the complete diagonals okay as you can see here by summing up the indexes of this this is this are how the complete diagonal it works okay so i hope you guys understood this that if for each uh, for any of the diagonal whose sum is less than equal to 1 then we can disconnect it so based on this let us now code for our approach so here initially let me take one uh, n and m so let me take as n as grid dot size and m equal to grid of 0 dot size and now we will traverse for i equal to 0 i is less than n sorry m from i plus plus and the second loop from j of 0 to j is less than m j plus plus and what we would do if grid of i j equal equals to 1 then what we would do we would may simply make v of i plus j plus plus so yeah we need to uh, initialize this vector v of size m plus n minus 1 and initialize all the cells as 0 in this vector now we will further do a traversal for int i equals to 1 i is less than v dot size i plus plus and if at any case v of i is less than equal to 1 then we would simply return true right and in the uh, else case we would return false okay so yeah let me try to now run this code Uh, output is true. Let me check it. Okay, so here it would be uh, i till n, and then it would be of m. Okay, the one another thing is here also it would be v or dot size minus one because of for the first and last element we won't check this. We can't flip that. Okay, as you can see here, we cannot flip the first and the last. Yeah. So yeah, now the test cases are passed. Now let me try to submit this. So yeah, as you guys can see that our code got accepted. 
and now talking about the time in space complexity the time of complexity you can see here that we are traversing all the cells thus the time complexity would be m cross n uh, and this would uh, this is the same uh, we are traversing m plus n minus 1 cells so yeah this is the time complexity and the space complexity would be also you can say m cross n right so yeah that's the time and space complexity so i hope you guys understood the approach as well as solution to this question so make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you